Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for January 26th. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, January 26, 1837, Michigan joined the Union as the 26th state. Called the Great Lake State because its shores touch four of the five Great Lakes, Michigan gets its name from a Chippewa Indian word meaning large lake. Michigan consists of two land masses, the Upper Peninsula and the mitten-shaped Lower Peninsula. Detroit, its largest city, is known worldwide as the center of the American auto industry. The apple blossom is the state flower and Lansing is the capital. Also, on this day in 1884, Roy Chapman Andrews was born. He was an explorer and author. On his 1925 Central Asian expedition, the first known dinosaur eggs were discovered. And on this day in 1911, Glenn Curtis piloted the first seaplane flight at North Island, San Diego, California. He successfully took off from water and landed on the water. The plane rose six feet, 183 centimeters, and flew about two or 300 yards, about 183 to 274 meters. The airplane was called Flying Fish, and it had floats in place of wheels. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the word bewilder. If you bewilder someone, you confuse and surprise them. You might say, the farmer was completely bewildered when he came into the barn and found the chickens playing fiddles and the horses singing songs. The word bewilder comes from joining the old English words be, which means thoroughly or very, and wilder, which meant led off course into the wilderness. <laughs> Today on Extremes, we ask, what planet in our solar system is closest to our sun? The answer is Mercury. It's about three times closer to the sun than the Earth is, although at its nearest point, it's still 28,583,074 miles away, or 46 million kilometers. Because it's closer, it only takes Mercury 88 days to orbit the sun. That means that a year on Mercury is only 88 Earth days long. However, Mercury rotates much more slowly than the Earth. In fact, one day on Mercury is the same as almost 59 Earth days. And that means that each Mercury year is only about a day and a half long. Holy mackerel! Health tips! <laughs> Don't eat your food in a hurry, and try not to eat when you're under stress. If you do, you might find yourself with a case of the hiccups. You get hiccups when your diaphragm, which is your major breathing muscle, drops suddenly and the air is sucked down the back of your throat. No one's developed a sure cure for hiccups. Some people suggest drinking lots of water. Some people say take slow, deep breaths. Some people even say you need to be scared out of them. The only thing for sure is that you won't be stuck with hiccups for too long. An attack of hiccups always goes away after a while. Uh-oh. I dive in Did you know that in most homes in the United States, about half of the heat that we use to warm our houses escapes through the windows, doors, and other cracks around the house? Well, that means that half of the oil or electricity we're using to heat our houses is wasted. Do you want to test for leaks in your house? Here's what you do. You wait for a windy winter day. When the winds are gusting outside, walk around your house. Go to every window, door, and closet and feel for cold air. If you can feel cold air coming in, it probably means that there's a leak in that spot. Make a list of all the leaky spots in your house and show it to your parents. Ask them if they'll help you fix the leaks. Keeping the heat indoors will save money and save the earth at the same time. 
Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow.